Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. And here is how Mr. Erdogan, the president of Turkey, wins again. And he's going to uh, take Sweden and uh, Finland to task any day of the week and any hour. Why? Because he has the upper hand 100%. These guys have no chance with Erdogan as long as he's breathing. You know what I mean? When he's going to stop breathing, then they will get their way. What am I talking about? You know that Sweden and uh, Finland depend on uh, Turkey and I think Hungary to vote for their uh, admission to NATO. There's the two countries. Turkey clearly told both these countries that you need to fulfill uh, this list. Okay? And uh, these guys were like, first, like, what? Like this. And they said, we're never going to do it. And then they said, yeah, we're going to do it. Now we're going to do it. Uh, uh, uh. And little by little, both uh, Sweden and Finland are checkmarking things that Erdogan wrote them with his foot. Okay? So here we go. Sweden checkmarking another uh, requirement. This article comes from Sputnik. And it is from yesterday, the 5th of January 2023. Swedish foreign minister tells Turkey PKK flag waving may be banned. So PKK is a Kurdish organization that uh, Erdogan, Turkey, sees as a terrorist organization. It's legal and a lot of them are refugees in uh, take refuge in uh, Sweden, Erdogan said that that got to go. And Sweden said no, 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 but it seems like uh, yes, yes, yes. I'm not going to go into uh, uh, if this is uh, appropriate for a country to do this, like what Turkey does to Sweden, uh, but hey, they have a long history of friendship, I guess. In return for accepting the NATO bids of Sweden and Finland, Ankara has demanded a number of concessions uh, involving Kurdish groups that Turkey considers terrorist organizations. The Swedish government's attempt to make good on these promises has sparked criticism from politicians, pundits, and human rights groups alike. Blah, 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 blah. They will bend everything just to get into NATO, and Erdogan knows it. And they know it too. Swedish Foreign Minister Tobias Bilstrom of the Moderate Party has said in an interview with Turkish media that from this summer onward it may be forbidden to wave flags of organizations branded as terrorists in Sweden, such as the Kurdistan Workers' Party, which was previously denied. In the interview, now circulated in the Swedish media, Bilstrom promised both constitutional amendments and new legislation. See how you bend your values for NATO? For the defensive alliance. Because Russia is the threat. And I'm quoting, we will also put forward a proposal in the parliament on March 7, which involves a new type of criminal classification in Sweden. It will make it illegal to promote propag uh, propagate terrorist activities in our country. It can also include waving the flags of terrorist organizations." End quote. Bill Strom was quoted as saying, and I'm quoting again, We are improving our ability to fight terrorism, and we are doing so hard, uh, we're doing so hand in hand with Turkey, Bill Strom added. So let me put it, uh, let me ask a question. So before Turkey pointed it out to you uh, five months ago, you didn't know that you had this, like terrorist organizations were able to wave their flags in your country? <laughs> I mean, Who's idiot here? Do you think we are? No, you are not. I am not. They are over there, yes. So they tell us here, they just realized they needed Turkey to come and tell them because Turkey is such a free country. <laughs> they have to come, uh, have Erdogan say, uh, yeah, change that thing. In you. you see, you are just uh, supporting terrorists. Are we? Are we? Hey, 
Bjorn, are we? Yes. Yeah, Bjorn, go and change that. Uh, Svensson. This is when you have no values and you have no spine. The debate about the PKK and other Kurdish organizations flared up amid Sweden's NATO bid filed in May 2022 alongside Finland, when Stockholm ultimately abandoned the vestiges of its decades-long non-alignment, citing a change in the security situation following Russia's military operation in Ukraine. So far, Turkey remains the only NATO nation to block the bids, accusing, I thought it was uh, hung, Hungary as well. They said they will take care of it at the beginning of January. Well, well. So far, Turkey remains the only NATO nation to block the bids, accusing the Nord Nordic nations of supporting and harboring members of Kurdish organizations it sees as terrorists. Terrorists, Stockholm and Helsinki were even provided with a list of people Ankara once expatriated, extradited, which is a sensitive issue for Sweden, which sees itself as a champion of human rights. You will do it. I guarantee you. Unless <coughs> Erdogan is uh, gone. Stockholm has shown an apparent readiness to gratify Ankara, having lifted the ban on arms exports to Turkey, distanced itself from the Tur uh, Kurdish organizations it previously supported, and even extradited some of the people from Ankara's wish list. However, its efforts have come under fire from both the opposition and numerous human rights groups. Likewise, the recent previously denied plans voiced by Billstrom were slammed among others by Marie Demker, professor of political science at the University of Göteborg. She told Swedish media that she finds difficult to criminalize flag waving without it encroaching on people's freedoms and rights. I bet she would not like the, allow the Nazis uh, wave their flag over there. And if they do, then uh, I change my uh, opinion on Miss uh, Demker, correct? Or um, if she allows, obviously the communist flag is okay over there with its 120 million soul victims. That's a-okay. Mao, it's okay. Stalin, it's okay. But those guys with a little thing over there, you know what I mean? No, no. I mean, you either or you can just say, well, I'm... Uh, for freedom and wave uh, flag waving, but uh, everybody except you. I'm pretty sure she's against that, which tells me that she's not for uh, uh, values, she's just for uh, situational values, you know, and depends on the situation. Yeah, you might have rights today, tomorrow you might not have them, maybe you. It depends how I feel about you and your ideas. She told Swedish media, I'm repeating this that she finds difficult to criminalize flag waving without it encroaching on people's freedoms and rights as or regarded as anything other than an attempt to appease the Turkish regime. Exactly. You bend over and take it. Okay? Deep and as many times Erdogan wants. Next. Any questions? Thank you. Opposition parties such as the Greens and the left. The left is the communist, okay? <laughs> I know you don't like that, but I will call them that way voice their discontent, stressing that the government is making concessions in matters it itself presented as principles. That's true. Communists and the Greens, you're, that's true. That's true. But what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I mean, a rule is a rule, isn't it? A contract is a contract. So you either don't go in NATO or you say, Turkey and uh, we're going to get in NATO because the boss says so and probably this, that's what's going to happen but these guys are going to do everything what Erdogan wants them to do. Why? Because he, uh, he caught them by the, he grabbed them by the, not by, by the, you know, like Trump said, um, you know, grab them by the and lead them whenever you want. The same here. Erdogan already got both of them and walks with them like this. Go over there. Anyway. See how things work? Uh, sometimes freedom and values and uh, you know all these things are very tricky because you have to uh, show a backbone. What I would do, maybe I would just uh, change the, the NATO bid. That's what I would do. I would probably do something uh, uh, where I will be a, how, how should I put it, a uh, 
invited but not part of NATO. And under that invitation, I would be protected by NATO. That's what I would do. They would find something extra and they would bypass uh, Erdogan. And Erdogan would be blah, 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 zero. That's probably the, what, what they're going to do. They're going to do a little bit of, of alliance between NATO and uh, Sweden and uh, Finland that will just bypass this kind of thing. And then Sweden will have both freedoms and democracy and values and uh, uh, you call me however I want and respect my bullshit, my delusion, and uh, we'll have all that. And we'll be part of NATO in a different kind of way. Uh, they don't call it NATO, they're going to call it, I don't know, Beto or something. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.